Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines. Where last time we made a huge investment in this giant slum area. Got some more poop fairies on the go, and with all these slums we even designated little homeless areas. So now they have some place to, um, stay. Well, at least until their tent burns down. And man, this area was quite the investment. We're not making a lot of money right now, but it was all worth it because our ultimate goal has been realized. We are now a megalopolis, which allows us to get every single tile in the game, along with some airport stuff. But it's the tiles, the tiles, the tiles. Unlimited resources to exploit. And finally, the most valuable thing of all, access to unlimited oil. <laughs> So today we'll be setting up our first major oil field and getting that online. And then reaching our city's full potential. Now that we don't have those pesky limits. Because now the world is ours. And if you're excited for this, remember to leave a like. And getting started here. All of the land that we're gonna purchase has been purchased. Cool, you know, $3 million. No biggie. And we need to redo all this highway work. Why are there not toll booths literally everywhere? If people want to try and move through our road system that I'm paying for, you better believe they're going to be paying for it. And they're going to be paying a heck of a lot for it. Because nothing is free in New Venturium. And even if they want to leave our city, they have to pay for it. Because they also went around and upgraded some infrastructure, added in some new highway junctions, got this area prepped and ready to go, and ho oh ho boy, let's get some oil. And we're gonna start with this chunk of oil over here first, because I have plans for this area. So, we want all of the extractors to fill up this entire space. So we'll start by building a perimeter road to encompass everything we want. But now with the resources boxed in, let's get the highway infrastructure built. This has to be as efficient as possible, because this area is gonna make us billions of dollars. All of the money in the literal world. But we don't make money if our trucks can't get in and out to sell the product. So traffic is going to be super important, as it always is. So the highway is going to come right into here. We'll have like a variety of ways for the highway to entrance to go through this area. But for now, just want the trucks to get to the center of the district. Like, unironically, right to the center. Oh, and by the way, I got a new mod. It's pretty neat. It's a roundabout builder. Check this out. Click. Roundabout, GG easy. Then our highway exits are gonna be about as easy as well. It's usually what I just do is I just have a raised highway going through the entire area. And then this is just gonna go straight on to the main highway. And then randomly I'll just have like on ramps. So like if vehicles are down here, they wanna go to the highway, boom, there they go. I guess you could imagine it like two trees growing into each other. One tree trying to bring all the energy down this way, the other tree bringing the energy into the system. I don't know. Is that a weird analogy? Kind of. Yeah, especially after doing some road prep when this whole thing's looking like a pinstripe suit. Yeah, maybe, maybe not the best. Anyway, we're good to start working here at least. I got the trains in as well. These are just the passenger trains so workers can actually get over here. And the highways still need a lot of work, but we'll get there. Since everything is here, we got the water, we have power, nope. As I was saying, now that everything is now here, we should get started on the industry. How I like to go about building these things out, aside from the road work, is to level them up to level five, then we get all of the fun things to mess with. Logic being, like, why would we build it inefficiently and then, like, upgrade it, right? Just, just do it right the first time. Okay, so we need to zone everything. Give me the oil, the black gold, the freedom juice. And we need some space over back here in this mountain. Because guess what? Just having the oil isn't enough. We need to process the oil into the spicy goods. So back over here will be kind of like the processing area. And this will be the extraction area. General idea. To actually get this going though, we need the main building. Which will of course go in the center. Why can't I see anything? Big Brain fixed it. Okay, but yeah, we need the main building. We'll just have that right there. And then we're gonna want a lot of services. Because we still need to have the poop trucks and all that jazz running through here too. Finally though, we spam all of the extraction buildings. 
Stop, let me see things. <laughs> That's what we're dealing with? Yeah, this is why we gotta level stuff up. This is, this is very quaint. Okay, and you know what? I really need to set this up a little bit better and organized, or else this is gonna be a disaster. The name got corrupted here, and a few other things have changed as well. Did a lot more highway work because, oh boy, I didn't have ways for vehicles to like exit and leave properly, so I added in roundabouts all over the place. Check this out. A vehicle wants to enter the highway, they have options, choices, so they can go to this road, and then they get to go straight into the extraction area to wherever they want to be. If they take the right road, they go directly into the processing area, and they can, you know, process stuff. And then if people want to leave, well, I didn't really give them a lot of options yet. I don't know. A lot of this road work is temporary. Again, we want to level things up first. So let's reconnect the power, please, and thank you. Excellent. We have the main building right here now, right in the center, kind of. And I just gotta replace all the dumpsters and whatnot, so that we can begin again. All right, lots of spamming time. Main objectives, we need to see what's going on and get a lot of employees and things produced here. That's how you level up these industry areas, employees and things produced. Hardest thing is usually employees. So much spam is required. By the way, look at our income level, $34,000 per week. Just wait, as we're going through this, that is going to explode. All right though, temporary stuff is in. Blah, 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 has begun, and let's see what happens. Oh, of course, <laughs> all the ambulances are like freaking out. Oh my gosh, we gotta go. <laughs> let's follow this, as everything gets started here. Yeah, there's no like limit on the distance these ambulances will go to save people. So the only way in and out of this whole area is through the highway. So all these vehicles are gonna go to the highway, go all the way over to here, and then come back. So let's rock and roll, brother. Where are you off to? Oh my gosh, to save the apocalyptic situation, which is our city, wow. Oh, you're going to this area of the city? Gotcha. Wait, over here? I completely forgot this place existed. There's not even a sick person there. What are you doing? Eh, whatever. Oh, now as things are going on, level two at the oil industry area. With a petrochemical plant, small oil drilling rig, household plastic factory, and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, hold up. That's just gonna make its way all the way down the highway through the spaghetti and back home. What has been going on over here? Is everything okay? Yeah, it seems fine. <laughs> These trucks though, if they're, they're going to here, and then they scoot over this way, all the way up and around to get onto the highway. You know what, let's help them out. Trucks, don't worry, business will be made easier. And let's check on how things are going. So we need twice the amount of products, okay. Workers, we're actually good on workers, that's nice. Profit, negative 7,000. That's okay. These things are always negative when you first get them started. Just means we need to scale it more. Bigger extraction plants, please. Oh, and these things look so cool. Dude, the oil industry is my favorite industry. It, it looks just like satisfactory almost. Don't get distracted. More. We will spam all of the things. Wait, we've already got to level three. Industry storage, toy factory, cool. Large oil pump? Bruh, my thing I just built here, already obsolete. Oh, that's cool. It's like four of these in one building. All right, we'll just put down a handful of them. More processing, we have these things. Let's check out, wow! That's the coolest thing ever. What's even more cool is we're actually profitable now. $13,000 just getting started. Oh boy, traffic looking real bad. One second here, let's, let's, let's just, wait. Let's build the storage somewhere else. Like way over here. Much better. That keeps stuff out of the way. Bring the power over. Let the production facilities do their thing. Sippy drink. Well, I wish I could give you it, but we're already level four. Maintenance building. Large crude oil tank farm. Large drill waste oil refining plant and petroleum factory. That looks like the coolest thing in the entire video game. We gotta check that out. Storage, built, happy. 
large tank. I hate how it always goes to that screen. The screen's really annoying. Oh, it's it's literally just a bunch more of those. <laughs> okay. I like how it looks. Sippy drink. God. It's oil storage. Why do you need water? Two don't even mix. Or those other things, though. We have a waste oil refining plant. Let's throw those over here, then. How much does this even do? Like, how effective is this thing compared to, like, this thing? Oil to plastics? Oh. Oh, I didn't even look over the entire industry area. For oil, you take the raw oil and turn it into either petroleum or plastic. Then we get our luxury good. Okay. So these make plastics, and that makes petroleum. So later on, we got to balance those a lot better. Balance isn't the name of the game right now. More large rigs. Infinite money, please. How I literally just built this? And it's on fire. Oil rig, you had one job. Can the oil people get over here? Or oil people, can the fire truck get over here? Yes. Yes, it has been dealt with. Okay. That's the one major thing about traffic that you really gotta watch out for. If the traffic is really, really bad, <laughs> then your emergency services can't get through to like put out fires and stuff and everybody has a bad time. But in no time, level five. Naphtha cracker plant, offshore oil drilling platform, cool. And a sneaker factory, neat. So now we have everything. We have the whole nine yards going on. Cracking plant, what is this? Ooh. Whoa, that looks so cool. YouTube thumbnail question mark? Maybe. Oh wait, we actually unlocked that other crazy looking thing. So in this game, there are a bunch of unique factories, which we haven't dealt with yet, but we will. Don't you worry. We got a huge one. This, petroleum refinery. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my, that is straight up insane. And these exist in real life. Look, look at all those pipes. Why don't they paint the pipes so it's more organized? Thoughts? Then you know what actually is going places. However, this is not gonna be here. Goodbye. We're not messing with any of the unique factories just yet because they require materials from all different industries. So, the big plan is something I'll talk about maybe next time. <laughs> right now, we're done with our temporary setup. It already, the temporary setup already took us to 120,000 per week, by the way. The temporary setup, just this little bit. And we're gonna cover this whole area in industry. So take your guesses at the end of the day, how much we'll be making per week. Super quick, we just gotta get rid of all of our temporary stuff so we can reorganize. Report and it looks like Mother Nature is on our right side again. A meteor strike has occurred. Uh, Avoid the impact site and I love to weather. If any is available. But anyway, let's tidy this up and get going. During the rebuilding process though, I realized that uh, this district area is pretty screwed. <laughs> the logic here doesn't check out. We have a lot of the traffic, or most of it, coming from this area here, and then all the traffic needs to go to over here, and then back to here, and then back over this way, and <laughs> it's gonna be a conundrum, okay? It's gonna be a disaster. Knowing this, you know how you deal with that kind of disaster? You give the people options. So since all the production is happening up here, I'm including as many roads as I can that lead to this area. Because if there's only one option, it's gonna be overloaded, it's gonna be chaos, and it's not gonna be good. Probably gonna have to add in even more to these, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, there is only one exit, so... <laughs> Regardless of what I do, it's gonna be a complete mess. But let's get started here. Lots going on. I started deleting some of the roads that I had built temporarily, just to kind of figure out what the grid is. And now that we have everything unlocked, we can actually start to place some of it in, and like plan. And we're gonna mostly use these large oil drilling rigs. So we could just have two like that, and just have rows and rows and rows and rows of that. Okay, that doesn't seem like the worst idea. And should we use a different one? Production rate, 9,600 units. Production rate, 8,000 units. That's very comparable. Ah, but this one uses a little bit more power and water, but it costs significantly less to upkeep. Yeah, so we're gonna spam more oil pumps than 
drilling rigs. And man, each of these cost 16 grand each. We're probably gonna run through like $10 million building this whole district up. It's, <laughs> what a crazy investment, but it'll be worth it. Thinking about traffic some more. Traffic enters through here, and oh, I made an exit over here. Okay, well if traffic's entering through here, it will start going this way. And we'll have to cross over the street to go to that. Well, I want to get traffic off the main road as soon as possible. So how about we have this here going that way. And if traffic's inbound here, we want this going in this direction. And then with this road just going back to the highway, and this road going to further processing, let's have a road going from this little quadrant up over this way to maybe here. Then it will go down to there so it can go to processing and then down this way so the trucks could leave the area. And with the general logic figured out, we can kind of just do whatever we want. Wow, <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. Man, my estimate for how much this would cost as well, it was nowhere near correct. Just for this, it cost three million dollars. That's like, what, 10% of what we need to do? So we're actually gonna have to wait around and wait for money. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Anyway, I tried to include as many of these as possible. I have no idea how much oil we're gonna be producing, but the general system is that the vehicles go in, right? They go in, there's a main road here that goes to a highway en entrance. There's some storage back here to store some oil, because the oil is needed a little bit of storage. And then they can go around to here, and then to industrial if they want as well. And then I just included this big road across, because <laughs> something's gonna break here. I don't know what, but we're gonna let this rip, and we're gonna see what happens. Is the power in here? Nope, there we go. Let's get this power as well. And let's watch the pandemonium. So the processing buildings are going to here to drop off the material. It's becoming a bit of a traffic jam. This is okay, traffic jams at the beginning are fine. They're pretty much expected. All the vehicles are trying to work out what the heck is going on. These buildings have to fill up with oil. Lots happening here. Thankfully, we didn't go into the red too bad as we get started. How much are we producing right now? How much oil? Two, what? 2,700 barrels of oil production? Dang, that's a lot. It's getting stored though. There are so many roads that I think once all the storage is dealt with, that will be okay. Uh-oh, everybody's angry. Why are you angry? Not enough buyers. That just means they can't get to the highway fast enough, but uh, maybe it's not actually a problem. When businesses are getting started, you know, they're a little, a little weird. Well, we only have extraction buildings. I suppose what the game wants us to do is build processing buildings so stuff can move from A to B. So as we're building this up, I suppose we'll build extractors and processing buildings at the same rate. Because this is just too much. And with oil again, we're making petroleum and plastic. Well, these are the two biggest petroleum and plastic plants. So I guess we're just going to spam these everywhere? Yes. We'll kind of just lay them all out and continue down the line. Now all these guys are going to go nuts. It's like, hey, we can bring our stuff somewhere? Let's go! Everybody to the races. Oh, they want power? City drink? No. We must have production going. Quick, sippy drink. Now available. <laughs> There's so many trucks coming. Oh my gosh. Power. There's like nowhere to bring the power. There. There. We're good. Okay. And now everybody is satisfied. These guys are mainly going to want to go to the highway. There's a highway entrance right over here. Boot to doot. Off they go. Still nowhere near enough. We need so many more production facilities. Like all of them. Oh, and this is why I love the oil industry so much. Once you actually lay out a bunch of stuff in a cool way, it's just... It's almost apocalyptic. And I love it. I love it. Look at all the concrete. Look at all the machines. The roads. The industry. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah! Look at the demand now! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Not enough buyers? Oh, that's just because you can't get your truck out the door too late! Everybody's moving and grooving. 
and I left some room for this road here because I assumed the traffic would be a, a little crazy. Let's give him the big O road. There you go. Everything's much easier. Some people want to go that way. Fair enough. Most people, though, they want to go straight. Now we can allow them to do so. Off they go to get stuck in more traffic. I suppose I could make this a little bit easier for them. Come down to here. Then that would go to there. There we go. Excellent. Oh, no! Why didn't I put any of the water in? My precious industry. You know you're my favorite. Is everybody happy now? Waiting for products? Fair enough. Traffic is just underway. And man, these little factories in here. So these are all making the petroleum. They're so small, so you want to like put a billion in one little place, but <laughs> you do that and the traffic then becomes crazy. Ooh, but we already hit the 164,000, 183,000? Oh my gosh, we're going to be richer than we could possibly have imagined! Okay, before much else though, we gotta start making some one-way one -way roads. This, this is getting too much. There, there's too much traffic happening. Uh, what about over here? This all cleared up? Good. Why are trucks passing through here to get to this point though? Why would they ever want to do that? Oh, because they're going back to the extraction facility. There's no way for them to go back home. Oh, now I get it. Hold up then. Now, the vehicles can go straight that way to the main highway. Or there's now a left turn where vehicles can go back to their home pretty much. So this roundabout, then over to the extraction fields. Ooh, actually the traffic nightmares have only just begun. So I started to expand over to the other side of this road here and you know what I've realized? There is no feasible way, if all of this is extraction, that we could fit all of the production on this little, like, strip here. It's it's not gonna be possible. So, <laughs> things are gonna get even worse. Uh, what's gonna happen is the space between the highway and the oil area, this is going to become a production area as well. Mm-hmm. So now, vehicles are gonna enter through here. They're gonna go all over the place, going to the right, to the left, trying to get to highways, and it's just gonna be a complete conundrum. So, yeah, highways everywhere is the solution. I'm even gonna have to build highways underground. Oh, but the profits, not bad. But you know what? We're gonna get this next little processing area built as well. So that means we gotta expand the district even more and spam up more processing facilities. Oh, well, fun fact, actually, while I was diddle-daddling with all this oil stuff today, you know, we kind of lost, like, 25% of our population. Why? Why? What has gone on in this city? <laughs> Why? What is the problem? Why did everybody die? What's, what's up with that? Excuse me? Did even the rich people- EVEN THE RICH PEOPLE ARE DYING! Why? Is it the oil pollutants somehow got over here? The traffic seems fine too. Why is there suddenly just this absolute conundrum? Why is it all- WHAT IS GOING ON? Why is there all this traffic? YOU! Oil truck. Where are you going? Quality appliances? Into the main city. Okay. Oh, and all the trains have gotten stuck as well. <laughs> Great, need to reset all the trains. Everybody's dying. Well, this is just downright pleasant. But I guess on a good note, all of this is running properly. The traffic is absolutely perfect. And we're earning up to 150,000 plus a week, which is pretty good when all this is running fine. But it's not gonna be running fine for a while because this is a problem that we will deal with next time. So I hope you all enjoyed and thank you for watching, but have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye